I just, I don't like his receptionist. Uh, I don't know, you know the, the, when you go into the doctor's office, they're always sitting behind that big window when you first walk in? And, and they totally ignore you. It, no, you could have a spear sticking out of your eye. You know, and she'll be like, I'm queen of the damn window. Is there somebody there? I don't think so. <laughs> they, only, they only talk to you when it's embarrassing. They wait until the waiting room is packed with people. Then, then they want to go, Mr. Horowitz! I got the results of that herpes test. <laughs> you want to follow me? We'll uh, get you. Whoa, uh, don't touch me. Just follow me. Hold on, <laughs> and then they take you into the examining room and they tell you to take your pants off. And then they leave, they leave the door half open. <laughs> you have got no pants on. And the, and the big lie comes out. Oh, the doctor will be with you in just a minute. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> you ever wait there like 10 minutes? Oh, 15, 20 minutes? Oh, I know. It drives you. You ever get really, really pissed off waiting for the... <laughs> you ever want to steal things? <laughs> you start looking around that son of all right cotton balls, I'm taking them all. <laughs> I take everything, band-aids, popsicle sticks, knobs off the damn cupboards there. I have 11 of those rubber hammers at home. I don't know what the hell to do with that. I'm gonna get some rubber nails and build a sponge. <laughs> Next time you get really, uh, really, uh, you know, upset from waiting and waiting for this guy, do what I do. You want to you kill time, the best way to kill time, pick up that thing. It's on the counter for your blood pressure. It's got the Velcro and the little uh, pump on it, you know, and wrap it around your neck. <laughs> no one ever does that. It's a lot of fun. You pump her up, go...